In this video, I'm going to be showing you a convergent and divergent geometric series, um, and I'm going to be expressing these in sigma notation. Um, for a lot of students, they freak out when they see these, but uh, this will be a short video because I'm just going to work through one example of each, really straightforward stuff. All right, so if I gave you something like this and I asked you to evaluate it, a lot of kids would freak out because they'd see sigma, they'd see k, they'd see n, they'd see infinity, they'd see a fraction. I mean, this is really the type of thing that would send most kids into conniption. But if we just deal with the parts that matter, it's a very straightforward problem. All right, so here's the formula for calculating the um, uh, infinite geometric series. So we start with a sub 1, which is the first term of the series. All right. And next thing we need to calculate is r, okay, which is the common ratio. And that's expressed right there. So if we know how to write rules, we see this isn't a big deal. All right, and that's where r goes in the formula. Now, as a note, if r is in between negative 1 and 1, um, obviously excluding 0, then the series will converge. But if it's not then the series is going to end up diverging. All right. So here's our formula. And we found that r was 1 fourth, which is 0.25, which is in between negative 1 and 1. So we're good. We can proceed. So now I just plug this in, and I can do this with my calculator. I get 15 over 3 fourths, which dividing is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. So I would say 15 times 4 thirds. Calculate that out, I get 20. So, the infinite series <coughs> of the uh, sequence derived by 15 times 1 fourth to the k minus 1, uh, starting from the first term and ending with the infinitieth, would be 20. Okay, so that's where the sequence would converge. We would say the sequence converges at 20. I'm sorry, the series converges at 20. All right, so the uh, same type of situation here. I set this up the same way, same formula. First term is going to be 10. All right, this is my R value, common ratio, and that will go down there. All right, now, same note. You have to remember this, guys, and I, I basically repeated this because this is what kids forget. R has to be in between negative 1 and 1. Well, R is negative 3 halves, as we saw on the last slide. So the series can only diverge, because that's negative 1.5. That's smaller than negative 1. That's not in between negative 1 and 1. So in order to solve this, well, the way I would express this, I would say this series is divergent. Okay, I know it's not a terribly wonderful solution. We could say negative infinity, but um, I'm going to be asking... <laughs> Sorry, it's too exciting. Um, I'm going to be asking you to, uh, you know, figure out where the sequence converges. If it doesn't converge, well, then it's divergent. All right, good luck on these problems.